Next to see the dragons is Jackie Edwards from Invernessshire. She used to be a teacher and then in the middle of one night she had a bright idea. She's looking for an investment of £85,000 and remember it's the dragons own money she's after. Hello, my name is Jacqueline Edwards and my company is Totally Different Limited and I'm here today to ask you for a total investment of £85,000 for a 10% stake in my company. Both my products have many unique selling points. They have never been seen in UK shops. I have no competitors. And in today's world, where hygiene and peace of mind are so essential, the possibilities are endless. Firstly, my paper disposable toilet seat cover. They are individually wrapped and sold in packs of six and are made for when using toilets anywhere outside the home. The elastic just lips under the front and then you push them to the back without touching the seat at all. Secondly, my fleecy toilet seat cover. Snug and warm, no more cold bottoms in winter or the middle of the night. These are primarily aimed at the female market. Both my products are on sale in an Edinburgh department store and they are also being trialled by an Irish chemist chain. Thank you, I welcome your questions. Jacqueline wants £85,000 to expand the retail base for her disposable and fleecy toilet seat covers. But will she be able to make the dragon see her business as a serious investment opportunity? Jacqueline? Yeah? Um, I'm not sure whether I want to ask, but I'm going to. Uh, yeah. What made you come up with this amazing idea? <laughs> For many, many years I've thought that using ladies' loos was one of the most unpleasant experiences I've ever come across. 98% um, of them are not clean. Then I moved to Scotland and that's where it all changed because when I moved to Scotland and the seats were so cold, I thought I used to wrap a hand towel around the loose seat. Okay. Jacqueline, can I ask you a question on this? Why are toilet seats colder in Scotland? You said they were colder in Scotland. It was when I went to Scotland. I must have chosen yeah. the coldest house there possibly was there with drafty windows. And you know, it was just you know, so cold. You know, we have, we have central heating now and electricity and things like Scotland now, you know. You'd be surprised. When I was... <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, be surprised. I lived there, I was born there. Well, well, you, must, you must have a particularly warm bathroom. It's rich. Because, it's rich. because ours was We can't afford to have our heating on all night as well. This is a joke, isn't it? No, it's not a joke. It's a serious problem. People are buying them in twos and threes so they can have them in the wash. Jacqueline seems to be charming the dragons. Duncan Bannatyne wants to know about her sales. How many have you sold in total? I've sold 300 by a private ad. I've sold 5,000 to the Irish chemist chain. I've sold 447 to House of Bath. Um, the Edinburgh department store has got 100 of each and they are about to reorder. So you made a bit of money? Yeah. Are you working from home on this? Yes, I am. So you have no huge overheads? No. So what do you need £85,000 for? Primarily stock. I want to do a really big push to market. Okay, how much of the 85000 are you going to spend on stock? Um, I've allowed £15,000 in my first year accounts for a wage, not for me, 
in case I had to employ someone. No, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat the question because maybe you didn't hear it. How much of the £85,000 that yeah. you want from an investor are you going to spend on stock? You said you wanted... 60000 Sixty. And what are you going to do with the other 25000 Sorry, I've done my maths wrong, haven't I? I want fifteen off of there. Um, I've no idea. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to yeah, the bottom of yeah, it. I feel yeah, like excuse the bottom the of it. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. I've heard every joke. Heard every joke. Um, no, in my first year, it is primarily for stock. I'm not going to take any money out of this. I will return your investment within three years, and I promise not to take a penny in salary until I've done that. Jacqueline. Hello. I actually believe you have a market, not for the fluffy no, bum no, warmer, I, yeah, I but agree, yeah. for, the, uh, for the disposable. Um, I believe that. Whether I believe somebody can't just duplicate it, I'm not sure. I place. do have anti-copying in design protection. We can't have design protection for something that covers a toilet seat because that's already existed for a long time. Um, you might, and I'm only guessing, um, have something on the elastication, but I doubt it because my grandmother had a pink one of those way before you. Um, so I don't think you've got that. So I'm not sure what you do have. Jacqueline? Yeah? I understand the problem. The last one with the fleece, we've all got up in the middle of the night, especially on a cold winter's night. Maybe you get a little bit of shock when you sit down. I'm more interested in the first one, the disposable one. Yeah. But you've got elastic in it. Yes. How, do, how does it become disposable? Um, on my packaging, it does say, please bin rather than flush. Ah. However, they don't block toilets, they float. So if I was to flush your disposable toilet seat down the toilet, yeah. it would not dispose but sit. It, at the moment, it would float. What and that is why we say on the bag, please bin them. Uh, what happens if you make a mistake? Do you think I've got to go fishing into the toilet to put it in the bin? Well, or? well. Hmm. At the moment, you would. Have, I you, have you ever come across paper disposable toilet seat covers? I have. You but they are not they widely good. seen. I can't buy anything in supermarkets or chemists to help ladies. Peter Jones has exposed a huge flaw in Jacqueline's disposable toilet seats. The elastic in her design means that disposing of them is much trickier than her pitch would suggest. Richard Farley has other concerns. You, you want the money for working capital. Maybe instead of getting equity, yeah in getting people buying shares in yeah. your business. Maybe what you should do is borrow the money from the bank. Yeah. If you get a large order... They have already on, said... On the, let me finish. On the back of that order, borrow the money from the bank, prove to another investor by getting a big order and saying, this is selling. I have got bank backing. But what no, I I'm not, haven't um, that's got not the question. is that that's not the question. I can't get through to the big names. Yeah, but but Jacqueline, it's Jacqueline, this is, now, now there's a weakness coming into your whole argument because you're saying you, want the, you can't get into these big stores, is that right? I can't get names. I keep writing Jacqueline, letters. Jacqueline, you want this money to order more stock. Yeah. So, so how that is, I can provide for those orders when you're, I know they You're saying the come. difficulty is that you can't get the orders. So how no, is I'm having saying, more stock? No, I'm saying I can't get through to the right people in shops. Jacqueline, raising £85,000, spending £60 on stock does not solve that problem. So I'm sorry, I'm out. Richard Farley has spotted a key weakness in Jacqueline's business plan. This has forced him out. Duncan Bannatyne has also made his mind up. OK, well, I think you're going to continue to go down this road working from your house and try to sell these, but I think uh, you're never going to get anywhere with it. You're still going to be dreaming and living in cloud cuckoo land for a long, long time, Jacqueline. So I'm absolutely out. The Dragons are losing confidence in Jacqueline's business acumen. Will Deborah Meaden find the proposition more appealing? Jacqueline, can I just tell you where I am? You lost me very early on, and I've just been waiting for the moment to be able to oh, explain dear. why. And you lost me at the moment at which you had to spend any time at all with your head hovering over that toilet pan, putting those disposable seat covers on. Because I have to tell you, the least time I spend staring down that toilet pan, the better. So I have to say now, 
I don't like the product. I'm I, amazed I that you're female and saying that. Absolutely amazed with what we have to go through when we go outside. Well, I, I don't know what traumatic experiences you've had in the toilet, but I just like to make it as quick as possible and out. But I don't want to spend my time staring down the toilet pan. So I, uh, uh, well, I'm that's, amazed. that's it. Absolutely I'm, I'm amazed. Not, I'm just not interested, and I have to tell you, for that reason, I'm out. This is devastating for Jacqueline. With the only female dragon disagreeing with the need for her product, Jacqueline's whole pitch seems to be falling apart. Jacqueline? It's completely flawed, your idea, because at the end of the day, the toilet seat covers are out there. You know, a lot of good hotels, you've got them on the side of the cubicle wall. But they are the ones well, that are flimsy. That I understand everything that you said. There's nowhere so where I think, I've stayed. Just be quiet for a minute and listen Sorry. to what I'm saying. So I do think you've got a market, but you've got the wrong product to fit the market. You've got to get rid of this elastication, right. and you have to make it dis fully disposable. When right. you do that, I think you could be successful because you haven't got that today. I'm going to say no to the investment and I'm out. Theo Pafitis, who showed early interest in Jacqueline's product, is now the only dragon left who could potentially invest the £85,000 she's looking for. Jacqueline. Yeah. You've done brilliantly to get to this stage. Yeah. But unfortunately, I don't believe in your dream. So I'm sorry, I'm out as well. I'm very, very sad about that. Bye, Jacqueline. Bye. It's all over for Jacqueline. Despite her best efforts, she couldn't convince the dragons to invest.